Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I use Google Calendar and Google Keep to manage my tasks and organize my entire life. So the reason why I like using Google Calendar is to plan is so that I can time block my tasks. I do have a to-do list, but I don't just stop there. I don't like just having lists in my planner or in Google Keep. Um, I don't like it just sitting there because most of the time they just won't get done because it's just so overwhelming that you know you don't really ever get around to them. You end up just never doing anything. So to make them a lot more actionable, I like assigning a time to do those specific tasks. Um, so this does require you to estimate how long those tasks will take you and then um, put them into Google Calendar. So later on in the video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. The reason why I love using Google Calendar is because it's very, it's free for one, and it's very easy to use and to drag and drop um, time blocks and to just, you know, switch things around. And it's super easy to just create a task um, and you can have multiple calendars. Ever since I've started this system, I have been way less stressed um, because I'm not always constantly thinking about what I need to be doing. I'm not, you know, stressing about uh, when will I get to work on this task or, you know, look at my overwhelming to-do list and trying to decide what to work on first. So with the Google Calendar, I'm able to simply look at my to-do list um, and then pick one of those tasks and schedule it into Google Calendar and then set a reminder if I wanted to and then just forget about it so I can free my mind um, and focus on the present whether that's hanging out with the family or you know cleaning the house or doing something else I don't have to be worrying about that other task until I get that reminder for when I scheduled it in so as a mom I have only little pockets of time throughout my day. So I don't really have a lot of time to work on my task. And then sometimes I'm just like, oh, I only have 30 minutes um, free time. So I'm just gonna go on my phone instead. Um, and that's how I usually procrastinated a lot because of those little pockets of time. But with Google Calendar, I'm able to plan ahead and you know figure out tasks that only takes me 20 minutes to do and then plug it into those little time slots. So you'll see in my Google Calendar that I have a routine um, calendar. So this is where I schedule when I wake up, when I should be start getting ready to go to bed, um, when I when I'm eating, um, you know, lunch, breakfast, dinner, and then also um, I schedule my routines for workouts and cleaning tasks. Um, but I set those as reminders instead so that I can check them off. So after my routines are all planned out, then I can plan out other areas of my life. And then what I'm left with is how much free time I have to work on my other tasks. So I'm gonna walk you guys through my entire setup and um, how I'm using Google Calendar with Google Keep to manage um, every part of my life. And just, just doing this um, just having the system has really improved my productivity. So yeah, um, keep watching this video if you guys want to learn more about this system. Okay, so let's look at all of my calendars. So these are my sub calendars on the side right here. Um, they're all color coded and to add a calendar, all you have to do is simply um, click on this plus sign where you will be able to create a new calendar. So let me just show you guys one by one what each of these calendars look like. So there's my routines. So this is just um, my personal routine. So I have my morning routine, um, my meals, and then my evening routine and then um, other stuff that I do with the family will also go into here. Um, reading goals as well. Um, so to create an event and make it repeatable you simply just 
create an event like that. And let's say I wanted to put workout in here. So the reason why my workout and cleaning routines aren't in here is because I use that as reminders. But here, let's just say workout, um, and I want it to repeat every weekday. So I'll just go click on does not repeat and put every weekday. And then when I hit save, it'll automatically fill out the rest of the week. So let's say if I wanted to move that to maybe after lunch, I could just move one and then edit the recurring event for all events and it'll automatically adjust. Um, you can also change the color of this calendar without even, you know, even though this is all set to pink, um, you are able to still color code each of these simply by just um, going here and then changing the color. So let's say I wanted it to be um, this flamingo color. You can just hit save and make it for all the events. And then even though this is all one calendar, I'm able to still color code it this way. Okay, so that's my routines. And then I have my bills and expenses on here. So every time I spend money, um, I like to create an event just to see how much we're spending every single day. Um, and then I have my bills as all day events on top. So I'm reminded to pay that bill. And then we have my business calendar. So this is what I do. Um, I have a focus plan for each day of the week. So on Mondays, I just like to plan. On Tuesdays, content creation. Um, Wednesdays is nurturing. Thursdays is design. And Friday is growth. Um, I have more info on these in my Google Keep. So if you open up Google Keep, you can see that I have a related email. So this is a nurture email, and I have my annual emails in ClickUp that I've linked to. And then also the same for growth, um, what I need to do to on social media and engaging. Um, so yeah, this is just my business calendar what I should be doing. The next one is events and appointments. So this is just for like doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, um, anything that I want to stand out. Hence it's red so I don't have any appointments this week. And then we have the kids schooling. So this is their, um, their when they're supposed to be in class or you know on Zoom and then their office hours. Um, I typically don't usually have this on because I just use Google Cal uh, or Google Home as reminders for the kids. And then we have reminders, but I use them as, to, you know, a way to check off tasks easily. So I use it for my workouts, um, for cleaning sometimes, and then for just other reminders for my to-do list. We have tasks as well, but I don't use Google Tasks, so I usually leave that unchecked. And then finally, I have my to-do. And these are events that I create for tasks that I want to get done during a block of time. Um, I color code these as well. So for example, every Wednesday I trim the kids' nails. So I just made that green for family. And then I made this blue for, since it's cleaning and organizing. So this is what it looks like usually when I have everything on. So I usually leave these two off. And that's just what my calendar looks like. And then I typically have um, notifications on my phone, not for everything. Um, it's kind of annoying to have too many notifications. So when I'm scheduling my tasks, um, the white space is usually when I have time to work. Um, the purple um, for batch and create batch create content, that's where I would usually put my reminders or to-do lists so I would just so say for design time 
um, on Thursdays I want to design, I would simply just create a task right next to it or over it and then make sure that it's in my to-do calendar and then this will be like my big block of designing um, whatever I need to be designing. So I'm working on my 21 uh, digital planners so that's when I would just do that. And even though it looks like it's on top of each other, this is just my to-do and this is the business calendar is just kind of a guide, but then the gray tasks are the ones that are actually things I need to take action on. And yeah, that's um, that's how I organize and create my my weekly scheduled routine. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use Google Calendar and your Google Keep notes side by side so that when you are planning your tasks you can schedule them into your Google Calendar without having to switch between tabs. <clears throat> to get to the Google Keep side panel, um, when you open up your Google Calendar it may just look like this and you won't see the option to see Google Keep or, or anything. Um, to get that there is a little tiny arrow that where you can show the side panel so you will need to click that first. And then you'll see Google Keep, your tasks, and your maps. Um, so I'm just going to click on Keep, and it'll open up your connected Google Keep notes. So I pinned all of these tasks so that they can stay on the top. Below, I'll link my blog to where you can download all of these images so that you can use them as headers in your Google Keep. Let me just show you guys how I kind of use Google Keep and Google Calendar. So you can see here that I created events right here for organizing. Um, I wanted to schedule when I can work on those tasks. Um, and if you look in my Google Keep, I have a section called Organize. And so I have four tasks that I wanted to get done this week. Um, organizing the kids' toys, the kids' closet, the office closet, and cleaning out the pantry. And so I just scheduled them in as events in my Google Calendar right here. So it's really easy to just look at your task list and then schedule a time for it in here. I created reminders for my task. So if you come up here to my blog to-do list, um, these are the things I wanted to get done on Friday and today. So you see here I'm recording my Google Calendar videos so that I can work on these blog posts and YouTube videos this Friday. And then I also wanted to show you guys how I attached a note directly to an event. So today I am going on a target run so if I click on the target run, it'll pop up. So, so see how there's no target note at the top? But once I click on the target run, this comes up. So this only works if you are creating a new um, if you are creating a new note. So for example, Let's say I want to do another target run on Friday. I would create my event and then call it target. And we'll put that in my to do. But when I click here, that target note doesn't pop up. So it doesn't work for repeating tasks. But it's great for if you have an event like a meeting or something and you need, need to take notes on it. So if you click on that, you can create another note. So maybe you want to, for this target run, you want to buy uh, bike helmets. And then it'll just be a plain white note. But you can easily edit and add a picture to it click on that by opening it in Google Keep. 
So here is where you can change the color of it. Maybe add the checklist. Um, you can add a title or you can use one of my images so that you can have a really nice target checklist. So the only thing with that is that you'll have multiple shopping lists. Yeah, but I find that just uh, having it on the side without even attaching it also works. Like for example, these tasks aren't attached to my organize list because I created that list first. But I can easily just scroll down and find that note. And so you can, you know, use reminders. You can also set up reminders for your Google Keep notes. But you do have to make sure that your reminders is checked on so that you can get those reminders. So let's say for designing my planner background, I wanted to set a reminder for a specific time. I would have to do that in Google Keep Notes. And you just click on this little bell icon here. And you can set the reminder. You can pick a date and time, pick a place. We'll just do it later today. And then when you go back to your Google Calendar, it should pop up for that 8 p.m. So there it is, the design planning background. And then it'll say be related note and keep. So yeah, that's how I use Google Calendar to manage my entire life. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and thanks so much for watching.